Tired of adding water every day to your aquarium? Don't know which ATO is the right one for you? Or maybe you're worried that the current auto top-off solution you have might flood your home. Terrence from Neptune Systems here to tell you all about our latest version of the ATK, Automatic Top-Off Kit. We introduced the ATK two years ago, and now we've just updated the product with some important improvements. Of course, many of you out there are familiar with this category of aquarium gear, but some are not. So first, let me explain the problem, some methods out there that address it, and then I'll introduce you to the ATK. Ever since aquariums were first brought into the home, the chore of daily adding water to your tank to make up for evaporation has been one of the most hated and neglected tasks. In a freshwater tank, it was never a big deal if you missed a few days or even a week. Your water line in the tank was simply a bit lower and maybe a tad unsightly. However, with saltwater aquariums, the situation is far different. Because evaporation only removes H2O out of the aquarium, the concentration of salts and other elements in the tank will go up as more and more evaporation occurs. If the water is not topped off in the aquarium daily, this imbalance creates a less than ideal living environment and can even be harmful to the corals and other animals in the tank. This is where an automatic top-off solution, usually called an ATO, enters the scene. And there are many choices out there on the market. Some people even go the DIY route. Now, while each method or device may work a little differently, the basic concept is that an electronic sensor or mechanical float valve is placed at the desired water level. And then, fresh water is added back into the system when it senses that it's fallen below that level. The trouble with automating this process is that if you have a failure on this piece of equipment, it's almost always a catastrophe. If that ATO doesn't shut off when it should, bad things happen. You see, when you add fresh water to a saltwater aquarium, you're diluting it. Adding too much fresh water means your salinity falls and your animals suffer. If it dilutes too much, everything will die. Sadly, this happens to far too many people. Now, as bad as that is, something even worse can happen. If that ATO keeps going, the aquarium will overflow and cause thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars in damage as it destroys your floors and possibly the ceilings of the rooms below. This is why many devices but certainly not all, have some method of backup just in case that primary sensor goes bad. While this is better than no fail-safe at all, many still have a potential for disaster due to a single point of failure. Now, our goal when we set out to make an ATO was to bring to market one that was simple to set up, worked reliably, and was the safest out there because it didn't rely on a single point of failure. So, now that you know what an ATO is all about, let me introduce this newest version of our ATK, the Automatic Top-Off Kit. Now, when the ATK first released two years ago, we were super excited as it was the very first product from Neptune Systems that could run completely standalone. That's right, no Apex is necessary to operate the ATK. But if you connect the ATK to any Apex, it'll unlock even more functionality, such as mobile alerts, additional sensors, and more. Also, the ATK will work with any Apex model out there today, even those we no longer sell. If the label says Apex, it'll work with the ATK. The ATK consists of three main components. First, this is the brain that drives the ATK. It's called the FMM, the Fluid Monitoring Module. It monitors all the sensors, tells the pump when to come on and off, and sounds an alarm when something goes wrong. When used with an Apex, it connects with its built-in Aquabus port. Next is the water level mechanism. It has a magnetic mount made out of high quality acrylic. It holds two optical water level sensors as well as a mechanical float valve that we'll talk about more later. Version two of the ATK has newly designed water level sensors that give them greater longevity and reliability in the harsh saltwater environment. The third key component of our ATK is our PMUP utility pump. PMUP stands for Practical Multipurpose Utility Pump and PMUP is PUMP spelled backwards. Yes, we had some fun naming this product. The PMUP is a 24 volt DC pump. However, unlike some of the chintzy pumps included with many other auto top-offs, the PMUP is built to last and it's powerful enough to push water vertically up to 14 feet. This means you can store your water a long distance away or even in the basement or another floor. The PMUP provided in version two of the ATK is brand new and it was redesigned from the ground up. 
It now has built-in protection from running dry, running over temperature, or failing due to obstructions becoming lodged inside the pump. Its new strainer design not only keeps out debris, but it helps keep the PMUP standing straight up. And it's also easily removable for regular maintenance. As I mentioned before, the biggest downside to using any ATO is the potential for disaster due to malfunction. Our number one mission when we set out to make an ATO was to make something with more fail-safes than any other product out there. That was two years ago, and still today, the ATK has the most failure protection of any ATO on the market. I know it's hard to believe, but some ATO systems on the market still have no fault tolerance at all. And those that do often have just one fail-safe mode. And maybe a couple of models have two layers of disaster protection, but all rely on the electronics of the device for this protection. The ATK has three separate layers of disaster prevention, with one of them completely independent of the electronics. We're confident it's the safest ATO on the market today. Now let me show you exactly what I mean. Here's our water level mechanism. This magnetic bracket and sensors is easily installed in the filtration area of your aquarium. It'll even fit in the back of most all-in-one tanks. Oh, and when you get the ATK, it comes just like this. Unlike most others, there's nothing to assemble, no pile of parts and pieces to try to figure out what goes where. It's ready to go right out of the box. So, how does it all work? Well, this first optical sensor is the one that sits at the normal water level. When the water goes below it, it tells the FMM to add water. The FMM then turns on the PMUP and water is pumped from your reservoir into the tank. When the water level returns to the middle of the sensor, it tells the FMM to turn off the pump. But what if the sensor should fail? Well, that's exactly why we added this second optical sensor here as a backup. Should that first sensor fail, the water will rise up and the second sensor will tell the FMM to shut off the pump. When run in standalone mode, this will also set off the audible alarm. When the ATK is connected to your apex, you'll get a mobile alert. Of course, having a backup sensor is nothing new for an ATO device. Quite a few of the most popular ones have a backup sensor of some kind, usually a float switch, which we all know are pretty unreliable. Of course, even a backup sensor or float switch can still fail, so we created something we call IQ Fill. IQ Fill analyzes the past run times necessary to top off your aquarium, and then creates a running average of sorts. With IQ Fill, you'll get a failsafe that's fine-tuned to be much more personalized for your aquarium and not false alarms. These safety features on the ATK make it so reliable that the chances of a failure are in the tiniest fractions of a percent. But we decided to take things a step further and add yet another layer of redundant protection. A old school protection, if you will. A mechanical float valve. We mounted a float valve to our bracket so that it's positioned above the normal water level that your ATK is maintaining. Now, if the first optical sensor fails, and then the second sensor fails, and then for some reason IQ Phil doesn't do what it should, well, the water level will rise up to the float valve and it'll stop the flow of water into your aquarium. Put all these fail-safe features together and we feel the ATK is the safest and most reliable ATO on the market today. All right, so now that you've seen the major parts and how it all works, I've got to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the ATK. We start by installing the adapter fitting on the PMUP and then installing the tubing onto it. Now remove this tubing nut and push the tubing through and reinstall it on the elbow. Mount the water level mechanism in the sump with the middle of the lower sensor at the desired water level. Put the PMUP into your ATO water reservoir or water jug. Install the mounting bracket. Mount the FMM onto the bracket. Plug in the sensor cables. Plug in the PMUP. Plug in the power supply. And that's it, you're done. No buttons to push, no switches to slide, no mounts to adjust. Now, whenever evaporation brings down the water level below the lower sensor, the ATK will turn on the PMUP and send fresh water to your aquarium. You'll never have to do that chore again. Of course, just making a great ATO was not enough for us. We wanted to give even more options to all of our control freaks out there. Options that even the ATK standalone users could take advantage of. You may have noticed that the FMM has four sensor ports on it, but the ATK out of the box only uses two of those for its optical sensors. The other two are there for you to use with our optional accessories. Most people will use the ATK with some sort of water jug or ATO reservoir like this one. Of course, you'll need to refill the reservoir from time to time, and you should never let your pump run dry. So you can purchase a separate optical sensor like this one, mount it in the bottom of the reservoir, 
and then plug it into port number four. Now, when the water gets too low in your ATO reservoir, the ATK will stop the PEAM up and an alarm will sound telling you to fill it. If you want even more protection against overflows and stray water around your aquarium, you can purchase a leak detection probe like this one and plug it into port number three. Place it at the base of your sump or your aquarium stand, and if you get a leak from the aquarium, the ATK will sense it, turn off the PEAM up, and sound an alarm. These options work for our standalone users as well as those with an Apex. For those of you that do have an Apex, you can purchase one of our flow monitoring sensors like this one to monitor the flow from your return pump, emergency drain, or even one of your media reactors. Now, if you don't have an Apex, one of the really cool things about the ATK is you can always get one down the road, plug it in, and get even more features as you integrate it into the way you want to monitor and control your aquarium. With this second version of the ATK, we've made important improvements to an already great product and the ATK is an incredible collection of quality components. Even with that, two years later, we have kept the price the same, and we think the ATK is a tremendous value for our customers with a retail price of under $200 in the USA. Now, if you made it this far, thank you for watching and be sure to give us your feedback in the comments below. Also, of course, make sure to subscribe to our channel. But for now, take care and enjoy those fish.